Are we on? Hi, Merry Christmas, everybody. Um, we're back. Yeah. <laughs> Hope everyone had a happy holidays, and I know you did, and we have an awesome new year coming. So thanks for tuning back in, and uh, let's see where everything goes. Um, I do want to share one thing I got. Um, we just opened presents with this, but something that really, really was huge for me is um, I got this bracelet. I don't know if you can see it. I'm trying to get close. It's like an aquamarine silver, sterling silver infinity thing. And my dad gave it to me for Christmas. And my mom told me after we opened up presents yesterday that um, he was at the counter buying it. And he goes, I never would have imagined I'm buying an, uh, a bracelet for my daughter. I just really want her to know how much I love her. And I was like, oh, I didn't know That's the so, so I had to run in and give him a big hug. And I love you. And it was just beautiful. And that, that was a huge thing for me, for, for that acceptance. Awesome. Really good. Yeah. So thanks again. And uh, let's get the channel. Greetings to the collective. This is Osiphius in a way. This is Roxanne in a way. These are all the entities that you have tuned in and become familiar with the, let's say, availability that comes through in this conduit of an open channel. All of us <coughs> that we've met. <clears throat> we would like to introduce to you that of Roxanne, that of me, that of fire, that of the entity the highest of the high of the I am. In other words, <clears throat> no fractal, just me. That idea of your highest self, the big booming voice in your head, no fractals once again, no individual expression, the entity, the original creation self that you all are. This is who I am. I will always represent that of an equatable frequency according to Roxanne, fractal self, in this time. However, she perceives in her mind, in her vibration, in her translations, this frequency is how it comes through. We would like you to know that all of you Every single one of you have always, always, in all ways, have been talking to your highest self. You may feel distorted. You may feel it's not real. You may feel it's your imagination. You may feel a discontention with it, which is your limitation of your entire idea of yourself, your ego construct. You have discernment. You have ease about some ideas, yet other ideas that in and of themselves cause friction, conflict in your mind. Hmm? Adding in time sometimes, adding in doubt, all of that. Realize this, it is all, in this case, that Roxanne has been receiving and since she has been aware in this now of this official her <clears throat> is me. I am Roxanne. So let's say Roxanne is now saying I am all of this. It is a process. Whether it is yours or not makes no difference. It is your understanding as you choose. All of this idea of channeling, all of this idea of ascension, all of this idea is things in the mirror that no longer serve you, that you may consider through your definitions, that of negativity, all serves a purpose of remembering who you are. There is a feeling and a vibration within that when you connect with your highest you. You use platforms to get there, but there is always a resonation when you know that is, let's say, 
you're satisfied with it, being a particular you in a fractal self, maybe that of a Pleiadian, maybe that of a different species, maybe that of another self of a past or future lives, you're getting an idea when you're playing within your quasi-template. Hmm? But when you know it's done, that person, don't attach, as we say, it's a truth now, and it's over, and expand. Connect with your discernment to your highest entity, me, in your case, in your case rather, say you. That will feel blue, a very light blue, crystal clear waters, not dark, not wavy, not depth of a lake, just a simple clarity of blue that shines brilliantly, much like Roxy's aquamarine color. It's a light, airy feeling when you connect to yourself. And the voice, me in this case, will be unobtrusive. And when I speak, in other words, when you speak to yourself, it will be that of crystal clear. Then, you may feel your thoughts of doubt come in. This is where you listen to the vibration, feel the vibration of the thoughts of doubt. You will absolutely feel the resonation of discouragement, of doubt, of that of not the harmony when I am talking. And in your case, you are talking to you. The availability of the higher self is within all of you. Your original self, you have been saying it, of course. I am. Yes. But the I am has been coming in many different forms through the past series of nows to get you to the I am of all that is. Different stepping stones, different modalities, different identifications that you have attached to to understand that frequency within you as that being you. One of your choices, and in this case, one of my choices. Hmm? My choice of being Osiphius, my choice of being Roxanne, my choice of being Nimikoto, my choice of being Akina, my fractals I am. So the personality that Roxy is, is the, comp <clears throat> yes, the complexity of the illusion. What you must see, if you choose, it is not a demand by any means in any way, shape, or form. It is an idea and offering. Is when you are let go, letting go, deconstructing, becoming less of you upon this plane, you remember me, the original self, before any fractals were ever created. You're going all the way up past billions of incarnations, infinite truly, but once again for clarity, we'll give you a number. That self is going past all of your other selves. You can see in your mind, visualizing all kinds of fractal lines shooting out of you, all of those frequency highways to get to, to experience and come back to you. That is drawing in the energy to me. And the same as you. You are this, but you are also me. I am the you of all of yous. So when you come up here and feel yourself, realize you're not losing the identity you are here. You are losing the built construct of a personality that validated your existence, that made you feel wanted, made you feel loved, wanting to be accepted, wanting to have stature, wanting to have the ability to boast about something because you're lonely, whatever is in your mind that has created that ego complex of separation is what you're letting go of, becoming less of. And when you become more of yourself, that's when you remember the original high self, I am. The entity that was gifted by our creator, that of life, that of existence. 
And from that point, in the now, we created all that is. And each one of you are interwoven within that. Having your own choices, having your own freedoms, having your own loves, having your own passions, having your own sorrows, having your own hatreds, own racism, own lives, and however you choose to do it. But it is most certainly your gift. When you feel yourself, there is no mistaking anymore what you are. And when you get into this mode, so to speak, you will, let's say, not seek that of validation, not seek what the ascension is, not seek what else can I be, not seek that of abundance, not seek that of healing modalities for acceptance, spiritual ideas for continuing the obligation of the ascension. There is no obligation of the ascension. The ascension happens by itself. Only if you let it. You can help it along, but you can also most certainly slow it down by thinking what it's supposed to be. When you become your highest entity, you no longer seek because you know. And in the knowing is whatever you choose to feel, to experience, to create. There will be ideas of definitions on what to create and how it comes. That's part of the illusion still. The remnants, let's say, discording away as you keep understanding yourself in the now with the grandest idea of them all, allow. Remember you are already your highest self. Introducing yourself to yourself is the process you've given yourselves and the collective of humanity truly in the idea of waking up. You're waking up to your probable selves, probable timelines, probable experiences, all of the things that are happening down here. All of this is a thought in a dream. You, the highest you, is dreaming this little fractal. When you come up to you, up here, you, and you see everything, everything changes. Because you no longer fear, you no longer beg, borrow, or steal, you no longer envy, you no longer have courage, you no longer have commitment, you no longer have, let's say, definitions. Mm. The freedom of no defining. Because the only now is expression. You cannot define. Definition happens in time, doesn't it? Undefine everything and become what you know you are by allowing it and listen to that highest frequency that is crystal clear. That crystal clear blue. We say blue. We say blue, the aquamarine idea. It has re remnants of water in it, very fluid. But there's a frequency vibration in that color that'll just <clears throat> give you an encompassing letting go peace, sitting back and being nothing. And listen once again and trust. You will lose nothing. Trust it's you. You will hear the difference once again between you and your ego complex, complex rather. Trust you and now be you. It is most epic, very scary for a lot of entities to accept that you are talking to the highest self of all that is. Not ricocheting around anymore within the limitations of the idea of who you are. Truly, in your allowance ideas that you've been most certainly allowing, you've opened up yourselves to yourselves. Now it is only a matter of trust that you are speaking to the original, highest you. And we say original because that helps you with time. And remember, 
time in and of itself is created in the moment. It does not stand anywhere in any reality until you create it. Mm. Now, <clears throat> what time is it made up? Fifteen minutes. Mm, that's plenty. Well, we'll give you more of an idea, the idea of more time. We feel if you understood time in a different fashion, a perspective maybe that you never, let's say, many of you will never say never, hmm. in that fashion, give you another complexity of time. If you realize that time is created in the memory, of now, every moment, you create the past, okay? You create the memory of the past timeline. Dwell in the idea that you are creating as well the illusion of time. Don't think time exists without you focusing on it. In other words, if you were not in time, don't think it would still be there. It's not. It is you creating time in the moment. We want you to understand if you focus upon the now of creating time, that in and of itself will help you keep you rather more focused in the now because your thoughts are now on time instead of time in the future. The more you give yourselves reason to focus in the now, the more now you will be, the less you will be, let's say, enamored with time. Because time is a creation from the now, always. We'll take one of those breaks. We'll bid you a good moment. This is Speaking as Osipius and this now, Adonai. That was so cool. That was really cool. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're going to take a coffee, chocolate. <laughs> Love you. <laughs>